Hi guys, today for you I have a classic mock that everybody has done. I know everybody's done this before. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you my rendition of it, if you will. This has been inspired by, obviously, the Volkswagen Microbus, and that is what it is. I've been making these for a long time, but this is by far the best variation of it. Um, I also do have the big version, the LEGO Creator one, and I also have the light kit installed on that. Maybe I'll show that on the channel at some point, but that thing looks really cool. Um, but, however, this, it's not exactly the same. You can see it does have the roof rack on it, and you can see it also has the pop-up. But that is kind of, uh, and, and, you know, the same color scheme, same, you know, it's really hard to get that white shaping down the middle. That's something I've always kind of struggled to get right on this mock um, every time. And again, this, that really doesn't look too perfect. Um, it's too, too pointy, too angular, I guess, I guess too geometric. I guess it needs to be curvier, um, but it's it's the closest I can get to it because this is really a pretty small scale to be working with. You can see I did use these smaller wheels which look really, 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 really good on this, I think. Before I was using those, and some of you, if you've been subscribed a while, you will remember the one I used to have. And again, it looked decent. I had that one built for four years and it was far from my own design. This one is my own design. Um, so, I will hopefully be keeping this one together for quite some time. If you have a keen eye, you probably noticed the, the VW logo on the front. That came from the Volkswagen Bug, set, the large creator one, um, because it, it came with two extra ones. I don't know why it came with two, I kind of lucked out there. So, not only can I have one on the front, I can also have one on the back. Speaking of the back, I like how this one turned out. It's the perfect perfect curvy shape because the the ones from 1964 that was the curviest and it was the prettiest design I think so let's go ahead and get on to the interior it's not easily accessible so first what you have to do you gotta take this off then you gotta come around to the back you gotta take this off which I've already taken off just for the ease of this video and then this will come off in the center and there you go. Quite honestly, there's actually not that much to see. There's a brown seat with a steering wheel, and there's no seat over here because these bricks are holding the entire front section on. So I had to sacrifice the passenger seat. You see there is a table and chairs. Uh, I kind of had it in my mind that, that table could fold down, and that makes the bed. And then there is a refrigerator with just some storage space up here. Because in the real one, the engine is right below this because, of course, the engines are in the back. The pop-up section doesn't actually pop up, but it looks good, I think. And you can just take that off. As you just see, I have some 2x2 two two jumper plates. And then uh, this is how I have this assembled, five studs long. It's a pretty good, easy assembly that works well. Now, obviously, since this vehicle is such an iconic symbol of the beach or hippies, I do have a hippie, the hippie minifigure. Right here, sometimes I'll put him with his bus. Um, I like that figure. I got him when he was new, so I've had him for a very long time. But it's such a symbol of the beach, so I brought it there to the beach. Placed it down on the sand, took some pictures, took some footage of it. I think it looks really nice. Um, just, again, I, I just, I'm very happy with how this one turned out. Um, it turned out better, honestly, than I thought it was going to. Um, I wasn't sure of how sophisticated I need to get with the design, but I think this is a good level. It fits in nicely with the rest of the city. You know, not too detailed, not too perfect, honestly. Because you see some vehicles and they're so well, they're just so perfect. The shaping is so well done, but they're also filled with illegal Lego techniques and they're so fragile. Meaning that, I, I mean, I couldn't even pick them up to do a review on them. So that's really the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please consider subscribing if you like LEGO content. And like I said, I'll see you in the next video.